Fine ramp. I like to keep it mellow. I smoke and keep it mellow. I drink and keep it mellow. Every day I keep it mellow. What's going on, guys? Today I'm going to talk to you guys about everything that I use in the gym and what's in my gym bag. I know this isn't exactly a gym bag, this is more of a backpack, but I like to bring my bag with me when I'm at the gym and all my other duffel bags are really too big, take up too much space, so I use just a general Jansport backpack. So let's begin. The first big thing in my bag is a Rise 10 millimeter lever belt. So what a lever belt is, is it has this lever locking mechanism right here and it makes it for a super easy, quick release. So you can set where you lock the belt, plug it in, tight, you're locked in, ready to go and then after you're set you can take it off super easy really quick just like that so this is really heavy duty this is more meant for if you're really into doing heavy compound lifts like squat bench deadlift but this has saved my life guys this has really increased my lifts a lot and I highly recommend any kind of thick lever belt if you have the money for it the next thing that goes with really heavy compound lifts are knee sleeves I have the super training or strong knee sleeves and these are awesome they keep your knees really warm if you have knee problems when you squat or you leg press, you should get your hands on a pair of knee sleeves. And what I like about these is they're really thick, so they keep your knees warm and give them a ton of support, especially when you squat. Keep your knees healthy while you're doing really heavy squats or leg presses. My next most used piece of gym equipment that I keep in my gym bag are Versa grips. So if you've never seen these, these are basically like really, really easy straps to use. All you do is you open it up and then you put your hand in like this tighten it and then the way the grip works is you wrap the grip around like this and then you pull it in tight and then you just put your hand lock your hand like that so then anything you're doing you're lifting is locked in and you don't have to rely so much on your forearm or grip strength the really cool thing about this is it allows you to focus especially when you're doing back or pull movements it allows you to focus on contracting your back instead of worrying about your grip. So you can pull way more weight instead of losing your grip and not being able to hold on to the weight that your back should be able to pull. Another cool thing about this is it also saves your hands from getting super callous. Just to keep my hands relatively soft, I still have some calluses, but nothing too bad. A third really cool thing about the Versa Grips is this wrist strap is really thick. If you're doing really heavy chest movements or shoulder movements, then this acts as a wrist support. So it's not gonna be the same as like a heavy duty wrist wrap, but it does allow some extra wrist support if you have weaker wrists. So, next thing on the list is my Umoro shaker. Now the reason why I really like this shaker is because it has a inside thread which prevents it from leaking in your gym bag. Another really cool thing is it has a compartment to store all of your supplements. Before I even head to the gym, I fill this container up with my protein, which I'm currently using Ghost Blueberry Toaster Pastry, and press this button right here, and then the protein drops into my container, and then I shake it up, and then I have my post-workout shake right there, ready to go as soon as I'm done with the gym. So really convenient, it's a high quality shaker, allows you to store multiple supplements in there. You could do pre-workout, you could do BCAAs, whatever's most convenient towards you. Since protein tubs are generally the biggest size container, I like to put my protein in here so I don't have to bring this around with me in my small little backpack. Keeping up with the trend of supplements, I always keep my aminos or my BCAAs in my gym bag because if I'm working out really hard and I need a little bit of extra push in my workout, I have this ready to go. So the really cool thing about this is it's not just BCAAs, it has a smart hydration blend in it to keep you nice and hydrated. It's basically like Gatorade mixed with BCAAs without all of the extra carbs. So really awesome supplement, highly recommend it if you have really intense workouts and need to push through them. Also, I usually take my pre-workout before I go to the gym, but just in case, I, I always bring Legend Sticks right here. So this is just one serving of Ghost Legend pre-workout, and then that way I have pre-workout ready to go in my gym bag just in case I forget my pre-workout or if anyone sees me at the gym and wants to try it out. The next thing that I have in my gym bag are headphones. These are Bluetooth wireless headphones. They are really cheap. I got them off Amazon. These are QI7 sound peeps. They're really cool. They have the earbud that goes obviously in your ear and then these hooks that hook into your ear to make sure they don't fall out. So they just plug in your ear right here and then this goes on the inside and then these things are not coming out. You can pull on this and it won't and it won't come out. So 
Really cool earphones, these are like 20 bucks if you don't have the money to spend on Beats and if you tend to lose your headphones a lot, these are a good investment because they're, like I said, they're only 20 bucks and they're Bluetooth so the wire doesn't get everywhere when you're trying to work out. All right, the next thing in my gym bag, it's not something that I personally use a ton of, but it is an ankle cuff. This is a contraband black label that I got on Amazon too. It's pretty cheap, it has this heavy duty thick strap. So you can be using really heavy weights on your kickbacks and then it has the lamb's wool padding so it's really soft on your ankle. My girlfriend loves this, she uses it all the time for her to glue kickbacks. Highly recommend this if you want to build a big butt. Last thing in my gym bag that I use a little bit more than the ankle cuff are resistance bands here. You can buy a big pack of them on Amazon or at any other gym store. All these different types of resistance bands and what we typically use these for are lateral squat walks or my girlfriend likes to use these for hip thrusts. Put these around your legs and then also do hip thrusts to engage the outer glutes. And you can do a ton of different exercises with them if you want to do shoulder dislocates with them, you can. If you want to do rotator cuff warm ups with them, you can. Really versatile piece of equipment that you should have in your gym bag. All right, other than that, that's going to be everything that's in my gym bag. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions about any of the equipment, comment down below. I'm gonna put the link to every single item I listed in today's video down in the description below. So if you wanna buy it, you can buy it there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog. Just got back from our chest and shoulder workout and we went grocery shopping and got a bunch of stuff for possibly a macro friendly taco bowl. If this turns out really good, then I'll tell you guys how we made it and the macros to it, but we're gonna try it out right now. Also, next Thursday, August 10th, I'm gonna be doing a Snapchat takeover with Ghost. So add them at Ghost Snap Style. Probably be doing some sort of Q&A or kind of showing a workout, something along those lines. So if you're really interested in following me on there, add Ghost Snap Style on your Snapchat and you'll be able to follow me next Thursday, August 10th on the Snapchat Takeover. All right, here's how it's going so far. This is for the salsa, got beef chopped up. Got some chicken going right now with some onions and garlic. Got a little bit of John Mayer playing on the Echo Dot. A little bit of slow dancing, making dinner, making out. All right, so here's the finished product. We got beef, chicken, black beans, corn, avocado. And then we're gonna add a little bit of cheese to it. And then there's also lettuce, tomato, and onion, and cilantro, and jalapeno on the bottom. This is what the bottom looks like. So you can mix this all up and you got yourself your own little burrito or chipotle bowl, whatever you wanna call it. What's up guys, just finished a podcast with Dennis. It went really well, so I'm gonna link that in the description below so you guys can check it out. Download it on iTunes so you guys can listen to everything we say, whether you're in the car or at the gym. Just put your headphones on, check it out. Scoop of pre-workout. Oh my God, and go size. Every day. Love. an idea. <laughs> <laughs> you <gonna look> at me? <laughs> <laughs> I, 
you can't see your feet in the video. Try one more. What? We've already established I can't do it. No, but. We just finished up shooting for bod bot again. So this time we had a bigger shoot. Last time we only did six exercises and this time we did about 30 exercises. So there should be quite a bit of movements with me on there, which is gonna be really cool. So if you wanna check out the app, go to either the Google Play Store or iTunes, and then you can search bod bot and then this is what the app will look like right here. Check it out if you want some guidance on your workouts or if you really have no clue what you're doing in the gym. What's up, we're here at Wake Zone. Gonna do some wakeboarding. This is a cable park, so you don't need a boat. Troy's gonna kill it. This is EJ Fitness. He's coming in hot to the incline ramp and there's a tantrum with a 45 degree twist. I think that deserves some likes, comments, shares, subscribes, YouTube fam. All right guys, just got back from Wake Zone. We had a ton of fun wakeboarding over there. We'll probably go back one more time before it gets cold and put the GoPro attachment on the helmet. So hopefully we can do that sometime in the near future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below what you guys wanna see next time. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time.